Darling, I have a question from a few wives. How to get your sexy back? Uh huh. How to get your sexy back? Mm -hmm. Because the husbands are complaining that their wives are not sexy no more. Mm -hmm. Welcome back to Church Girls Wanna Get Married To. My name is Janice Hilton Thompson. Please be sure to subscribe if you have not. Yes, ladies. How to get your sexy back? Don't ever lose your sexy. Do you understand? You never lose your sexy. Okay? Men are visual. And not because they got married means they became blind. They still see all these beautiful, sexy women out here in these streets. While you sitting at home, walking around in a, we call that a crooked bag back home, but it's like a potato bag, you know, the bag that the potatoes come in, the big brown bag. Girl, fix yourself up. You know what my daddy told me? He said, Janice, your husband is to still pursue you while married. I said, that makes sense. He said, but you need to give him something to pursue. So do you think I walk around here looking beat, looking like old Aunt Jemima? Uh-uh, girl, I fixed myself up. You hear me? I put on some dangling earrings. I find me some little sheer sexy things, and y'all don't want to see how I dress when I am home, honey. I walk all around in lingerie all day, every day. Just about. Those little sexy, the little sexy boy shorts and blue shirts. Mm -hmm. You see what I have on now? This is what I've had on since I got home from work. Took me a nice shower, and this is what I put on for him because he's been home all day. And he, he misses me. And so I just wanted to make sure I give him something to think about. Mm -hmm. Because, honey, my husband goes out in this world and he works very hard for you. So I'm going to give him something nice to look at when he comes home. This is how I walk around in my house. Mm -hmm. So, ladies, never lose your sexy. Church girls want to get married. You are dating for marriage. Fix yourself up. And when you get married, never lose your sexy. Never do it. Don't ever lose the sexy. So I wrote three ways for you to get your sexy back. First of all, sexy comes from within. Okay? Sexiness comes from within. Turn some music on. Find it. Wherever you lost it, go find it. Go find it, girl. Oh, I don't feel sexy no more. Why don't you feel sexy no more? I'm fat. Okay, what you gonna do about it? I I've gained a few pounds. Okay, what you gonna do about it? I've gained a few pounds. I've gained 10 pounds in the last month because my mom is here and she brought all the delicious food that I used to eat when I was a little girl and I just ate it all. But honey, this week I got out there and I've been walking to work Every chance I get, I'm walking because I got to get these 10 extra pounds off of me. So whatever the problem is, you need to fix it. Walk to the supermarket. You don't like gyms. I don't like gyms. But you know what I do? I walk to work, halfway to work. Sometimes when I can, I walk halfway home. This week, I've been home a few days. I've been walking to work every morning, at least halfway. Walk halfway home. Supermarket, do you have to drive to the supermarket? If the supermarket is 10 minutes away, that's a nice walk for you and the kids to go and walk. Exercising, I don't know about you, but when I exercise, when I walk, and I used to run track as a young girl, when I get out here and start running, girl, watch out. Mm. Mike don't know what to do with me. Mm -mm. We don't, girl. Because exercising awakens something in you. Okay. Press up. 
dress up when you was dating him, when you was going out on a date? What did you look like? I always had on the cutest little things, little guitars, little dresses. In summer, all I wear in the summer is my beautiful little dresses. They are cute and floral and sheer and stuff. Go buy you some nice little lingerie that you can walk around in the house with. Nothing explicit, especially if you have kids. You know those little ones they have under the top? And um, I should probably run a scissor and show you something. But you know what I'm talking about. The one with the two-piece has a little short and then it has the little the little the little um look this is the bottom for the one i have on see all that i have the shorts on of course i can't get up all the way you know up there okay do something for yourself a lot of women, a lot of wives, a lot of mothers, you lose yourself. You get caught up in taking care of him, taking care of the kids. You lose yourself. Go get your hair washed. I'm going to go get my hair washed tomorrow. Go get your nails done. Oh, I can't afford it. Yes, you can. Find you a cheap place. Save up a dollar a week or something. Wash your hair yourself. Roll it up. Sit under the dryer. It's summer. Walk outside in the sun. Let the sun dry it. Do your nails yourself. Go get a massage. Oh, massage. It just awakens something in you because massage gets rid of all those toxins and all that tension and all that stuff. I need a massage right now. Okay. So girls dating for marriage, don't ever lose your sexy because you will be like one of these wives asking me how to get your sexy back. Put some music on. When you're cleaning the house, put some music on. Everything I do, I do it with music. Remember King Saul uh, had a spirit on him, and they called for the, the harp. And David was playing the harp. The music will drive that spirit away. Spirit of depression, spirit of being down, being not feeling pretty. Dance like nobody's watching you. Dance. Sing a song. Remind yourself of who you are. I can't get up because I have my little shorts on, but my devotional of in Christ I am, getting to know who you are in Christ, that in Christ you are favored. In Christ you are beautiful. In Christ you were created in the image of God. In Christ you are the apple of his eye. Learning your identity in Christ. And ladies, please stop thinking your husband got, he got blind once he got married. Oh, excuse me, I'm saying he don't care. He cares. He told me he cares. I talk to a lot of men folks. A lot of my research I do, I mean, they're, they're Sudi, Suda, Sudi, like the one I did about why men sex us, but they don't wife us. I talk to a lot of men. A lot of husbands are complaining that their wives they love you, but baby, you got to give him something to look at. Oh, he's always looking. When we go to the mall, he's always looking at the other girls. That's because you don't, you don't have anything else to look at. You don't want him to look at other girls, then you give him something to look at. No, that is not an excuse. Okay, that is, I'm not saying it's an excuse for him to look because even God said we should watch our eyes, what we look at. But you also have to remember, men are visual. Men fall in love with their eyes, and we fall in love with our ears. So men are visual. You need to give him something to look at. I give my husband something to look at. Okay? Give it to him to look at. Put some dangling earrings on. That's sexy. Guys like that. Put some pearls on. Have little things around, feathers and stuff. I keep a lot of, a lot of these little stuff around. Makes you feel real ladylike and real feminine. Little stuff around. I keep all these little cute stuff around. You know? I bought him this for Christmas so he could know. He's the fixer of everything. So how do you get your sex back first? Never, never ever lose it. 
Don't you ever, 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 ever lose your affection. But if you lose it, you got to get it back. Fix yourself up. Do something for you. Begin with the inside. Work your way out. Read my devotional, In Christ I Am. I did 31 days of In Christ I Am, learning who you are. Whatever your issues, if you feel like you're overweight, do something about it. Start walking. You don't have any new clothes? That's not true. Use the clothes you have and redo it somehow. Add a bow. Put a belt on it. Add it with a skirt. Put new things in your hair. See, this is something I got. My hair is dirty. I need to wash it. I'm going to go get it washed tomorrow. But look, look what a difference that makes. My little dangling ear. So sometimes sexy guys like things like that. And it makes you feel good. I came home. I walked halfway home. I was hot and tired. I took me a nice shower. Put this on. Put my little earrings on. Put my bowl in my hair. Put my little shorts on. I'm in the house. I'm relaxing. I'm cool. Baby daddy's upstairs taking a shower. I'm going to go jump in the bed with him. Make, make yourself feel good. Whatever the issue is, you need to fix it. Get your sex back, girl. Get it back. Get it back. Don't ever lose it. And young girls are uh, dating for marriage. Don't lose your sexy. Develop a routine for yourself now. See, I never lost myself because I had a routine for myself. I went, I go get my hair done. I go get my nails done. You say you can't afford it. Yes, you can. Do it yourself. Go get a massage. Buy these little cute things and put them on. They're not on sale. I shop clearance. I shop, I have always shopped clearance, and to this day, I still shop clearance. When I go to Marshalls, my favorite store, I love Marshalls. When I go to Marshalls, I go right to the clearance rack. Right there. Remember to subscribe, share, invite a friend. Love you. Get your sexy back. How to get your sexy back. Get your sexy back, how to get your sexy back, get your sexy back, how to get your sexy back, get your sexy back.